and welcome to my garage. This is Mjuke from Magnus Racing Team. And this first video is all about how I did this M62 oil pan and oil pump swap to the M62 engine. So the first question is why? Why do you actually want to use that M62 oil pan and oil pump in your engine? The answer is this, E36 chassis. All these 5 and 7 series oil pans are equipped with a front sump. And if you place it, place it right here, <laughs> you can see it actually straight hits the subframe, steering rack and probably even the sway bar. You could you use this by cutting this piece off and filling it up, but even then you have to use subframe spacers which is not a good thing for the roll center and the front end geometry. This N62 pan has a sump in the back of the engine, which is way better for the E36 chassis. It fits around like this. As you can see, there's plenty of space in front of the engine, and the sump sits behind the subframe. Then let's move on to the actual modifications you need to do to fit the oil pan into your engine. The first thing you probably noticed is this. It's oil pump sprocket relief which has to be moved a little bit backwards. This N62 oil pan is longer than the M62 engine, so all these holes need to be moved inwards. This one here, these two, one in the corner and one on the opposite side. Same here, these four, and also this one. I think there is a couple of different ways to do this, but as I only wanted to modify the oil pan, I had to machine 4 millimeters of this plane to match the engine block. Moving on to the next part, first we take off this lower oil pan. And now you can see the oil pump, which has an integrated oil filter. And that means you don't have to use any external oil filter housings. What I did first when I got the pump was to figure out what's the correct height so it seals the oil filter housing to the oil pan. I actually made 3D printed spacers under the legs so I can try different combinations to set up the correct height. Originally this pump is way longer, so you cannot use it as is. It needs to be shortened. What needs to be shortened is this axle, this steel plate and the oil feed tubes. After you have set up the oil pump height, you can move on to the sprocket and chain. Before you can mount the sprocket on the shaft, this axle carrier on this plane has to be machined down for like 3 millimeters. I end up using a 22 teeth sprocket with a M50 oil pump chain. I can adjust the chain tension by adding some shims under this first leg. You have to make a special upset oil feed tube because it's not located in the same place. This is how it looks. You can actually use the smaller tube straight from the N62 engine. The next thing you should pay attention to is the bottom of the oil pump. I'm using a 3.5 liter crankshaft, which is a short stroke, and I have no issues in this area. But when you're using a 4 liter or a bigger crankshaft, you have to make more space here so the connection rod bolt won't hit the pump. Here you can see the spacers I was talking about. It's a temporary 3D printed part and the thickness is 7 millimeters. You need six of them in total, one for each oil pump leg. One last thing you need to do is oil bypass as you don't have to use external oil filter housing. You can just simply add fittings for the oil cooler or make a bypass plug like this and weld it here.
Then the last thing to show you is how it fits in the car. Let's go see how it looks like. As you can see, it's very close to the firewall, just the way I want it. You don't have too much space here. I've got the same thing on the other side. And one more thing I was worried about is how much clearance do I have here. And I can tell you, there is none. So what I was thinking to do here is just to move the steering rack backwards 5 or 6 millimeters, And it will give me enough clearance for this area. That's pretty much all you need to know about the swap. I hope you got some helpful information. The next time I'm gonna show you how to modify your chassis to actually fit these V8 in there. Thank you for watching, see you next time.